society zombification by mass media. Ksenia Evgenievna, is it true that all people within society are zombified in a certain way by mass media? How can one escape their traps? A local example of zombification is when a person is influenced by someone else's opinion to the extent of losing his own. What can be done to return such a person back to his own self? Nothing, Marina. There is nothing you can do about it since these are the conditions of the game. Everyone's for themselves. You can't live someone else's life. You can't give your own strength to another person. The exception is your own children, and only up to a certain age. Everyone goes through the stage of trials. Just think about it. Nothing is in vain. I've already mentioned that people are accustomed to living and relying on someone else's creation, on the government which wasn't created by them, on the institutions that are not theirs either, on professionalism that they don't possess, but, instead, use someone else's projects while mistakenly considering them their own. It's all around us. They are relying on the kin and family, for instance, considering that they owe you something, but you don't owe them. They are relying on their friends, thinking that, since I call you my friend, then you owe me like the land owes the farm, and etc. People are used to demanding without having the right to it. And unfortunately, it didn't just start yesterday. Not yesterday at all. What is happening right now is the result of such an attitude. And now, when one era comes to an end and another one is approaching, a personal Ragnarok takes place. Everyone enters the stage when you can only rely on what is truly yours. Everything starts falling apart, starting with the institutes and ending with the governmental systems. The governments are still holding up. Just wait. It will start shortly. It is already happening to the religion. Kins and families have started giving up their positions a long time ago, and they are the first to experience the effects, the first to take a blow. Friends or not friends, enemies or not. What is left is your own professionalism, because it's very difficult to be dishonest in this area. If the system no longer supports you, it becomes much harder to prove to yourself and others that you are a professional. So what is left? It is your own will, your personal right to freedom and your personal skill, the one you truly possess, without any egregorial support, without any sustenance from the system, and not because the system got rid of any competition on your way, in order to clear up the path for you, and so on. And not from religion, since it no longer supports you either. And that's the way your inner essence gets revealed. You may reveal it on your own. But can you do the same for someone else? If a person gave in to provocation of mass media, and those are exactly the provocateurs, and some of them know that about themselves, once upon a time there was a dead man called Dorenko, a very good fellow, who knew exactly what he was doing as opposed to everyone else. Therefore, in that regard he was a unique journalist. He was completely aware of his actions. Perhaps, that's why he was taken out of the game so fast. Few other ones are staying behind the bars, but generally the journalists don't understand that they are being used blindly. They know that they are lying. They know that they are blowing smoke, but they are completely not aware why they are doing this. Take a look at mass media from this point of view. See them as provocateurs. See behind their white-toothed American smile a sued shut Loki's mouth. See it and try to understand. I am the one who is provoked right now. I'm just simply triggered. I'm tested. Will I give in or not? Will I get involved or not? Will I sell out my own freedom or not? 
If I get exposed in front of my own force, my own gods, what would I see? Who am I without the system? Can I be without it? You shouldn't take it literally. Can I live in the country? Do I know how to milk a cow? Tilt the earth? No, we are not talking about that. You may possess any kind of professionalism. A professional, while integrating into a new society, will find what to do. Just like Lug, a universal god Lug, who was able to do absolutely anything. Here he is, a professional, will find his own niche, will find his own place. Will you find it in a new society, in society full of people who are just like you, refuse the system's support, who agreed that an outdated and decaying system will no longer sustain them? Who am I without the system? Everyone should ask themselves this question, in the forest, in the city, in an open field, in a desert, among people, without them. It doesn't matter, this is just an enteric. And if you answer these questions the same way, you'll understand which function you will carry out in the reality that you will be building for your own self. Because it will revolve around you, around your essence, around your professionalism. And this is the test. Are you capable of creating your own reality? what will be in its core. Now, within your core, there are only the projections of the system that is falling apart. If the system falls apart, the projections will follow, so what will be left in its core? This is what is tested right now. The mass media are the provocateurs, trying to make you show what you truly represent. What are you afraid of? What are you striving to? Who are you ready to betray? Who to snitch upon? Whose betrayal are you afraid of? Just look around you. This is all your inner truth. You can't find a better scenario than that. And this, colleague, would be my answer to you.